Can can you see my PPT guys? Yes. All right. Okay. Good. Yeah. Okay. Very good. So today we are going to learn about in public speaking. It's called master of ceremony, or we can know about that. Uh, we can call MC. Yeah. I know that one of you or some of you in here already uh, have experience about MC yeah, or attending some event, and you are to be and you are the MC at the time. Okay. So, by the way, gonna ask you why that people. What's the reason? Uh, you at the time want to be MC. Why? What's the reason? Anyone to share? Why do you want or people want to be MC? Anyone? Or you can type your answer, guys. Come on. Why? What's the reason, actually? Or maybe, Erika, what's the reason you were MC at the time? What's the reason? Or maybe uh, Elizabeth, Chefin, Indra. What's the reason, guys? Uh, sometimes because the teacher. <laughs> because that's the comment, right? The comment. Okay, Nisha, please, to be MC. <laughs> All right, who else? Who else? Okay, because somebody forced you. Okay, that's a good thing, though. If somebody forced you, it means that you can be a better person. Okay? Who else? Who else? Anyone? No one? Hmm. Uh, okay. I think that, uh, okay, no, no, no answer. Dulu waktu se kemarin saya jadi MC itu karena nggak ada yang mau jadi MC. Ya. <laughs> Terpaksa gitu ya ceritanya ya. Oh, okay, because somebody like, okay, nobody want to be a MC. Okay then, okay, I will go. Maybe okay. in general because uh, in an event we need someone to lead. Hmm. Right. 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 Okay. That's good though. Uh, maybe uh, after this class, I think that I need to choose some of you that want to be MC in our graduation, probably, or maybe uh, in one of our event. Maybe in language month, yeah, bulan bahasa this month that we will have language month event, yeah. Okay, Justin said that because they are the chosen one, <laughs> yeah, because Justin is the chosen one. All right then, so let's go because you don't want to answer. Maybe some of you just a little bit shy, but it's okay. This is the uh, we can say this is the reason why that the people want to be MC, yeah. Maybe they want to be like, uh, want to balance their life. Yeah, the second one about their life skill. Yeah, they want to improve their skill. And then the third one, they want to like wear about their unused outfit. Yeah, and also maybe the fourth one, this is gonna be like uh, income. Yeah, the income. Yeah, and also the last is about the feeling. Yeah, the feeling is very different if you want to be. Uh, if you are the MC guy, yeah, really, really like. Mister, oh uh huh. What's the meaning of balance of life? Like, what? What does? Like, what? Yeah. Why? Why? The balance of life. It means that you want to be like, uh, to share. Yeah, I mean, it's like, uh, your financial. Yeah, it's like your financial want to make uh money. Yeah, to make a money from that, from that uh. What can you say? The job, yeah? Yeah, something like that, Nish, yeah. The balance of life. Or we can say that you can also be uh, uh, status, yeah? Relating to the status, something like that. Okay? okay? All right, can we move on? All right, then, let's move on. So in here, guys, for this subject, we're going to learn about the definition, the structure and expression, about the grammar that you uh, usually use in the MC and also example. Okay, according to the uh, the definitions, these are the definitions. Uh, what is MC or master of ceremony? MC actually is the is the person. Yeah, we can know it's the person who super intense the forms to be observed. Yeah, so because you have learned about the occasions. Uh, this is for the social occasions event. For example, 
public banquet, party, yeah, and seminar workshop. Okay. Uh, the second one, you have to know that uh, she or he must know exactly who are invited. Yeah. Before you uh, attend or to be MC one of the event, you have to know. Okay. Who is the guest? Yeah. If you, uh, this is very important, guys, because. If you know the guy, the guest, it means that you can prepare how to say or welcome the guest. Okay, maybe uh, the third one is she or he lets the invited know. Yeah, run down the program. Okay, because you lead the uh, the rundown of the event. Okay, the last one that uh, she or he must know the formality of the occasion. Therefore, adjust what language style to be used and what atmosphere should be created. So these are the definition of MC. Yeah, we can know that this person is very important in the one of the event because she or he leads the rundown. Okay, we can say bring the events yeah, from the beginning to the ending. Okay, all right, any questions guys? So far, so good. I cannot see your chat, by the way. Please say yes, if yes, no, no, if no. Because I present in here, guys, I'm presenting. Any question? No? So far, so clear. Okay, very good, nice, next. Okay, okay, like uh, Erika told us be before, she said that there are like kinds of uh, uh, we can say event, yeah, in the uh, when you want to be the MC, yeah. One is like the in the formal, semi formal, and informal. So, in here, we can say that informal, you need to be careful, yeah. If you want to be an MC, yeah, an MC in the formal event, please be careful because this is formal event like in the inaugural ceremony, graduations, because if you don't pay attention to the what kind of, of event that you wanna uh, attend, or can say, or you wanna be a MC at the time, it must be ridiculous, we can say that, because uh, you need to know about your, what dress do you want to use, yeah? We can say like your, yeah, uh, the dress, yeah, or, Something your language, yeah, it's very important. If not, yeah, baby, people will laugh at you at the time. <laughs> okay, be careful. Okay, and then the second one is about semi-formal. Yeah, can say we can say about it's like in the visit of a government official, a farewell party, welcoming party. Yeah, yes, and the last one is in informal. Like informal, you are with your friend. Yeah, entertainment programs. A birthday party. If the birthday party you use like kebaya, yeah, I don't know. I cannot imagine that the the birthday party use kebaya. It must be uh, funny, I think. <laughs> kebaya and all, all of your, I don't know, all of your friends like use kebaya, or maybe maybe there's something like, yeah, maybe like in the uh, one of the king, yeah, maybe king king events or kingdom or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, you need to be careful, yeah, about that one. All right, next. Okay, so actually, guys, in for doing MC, you need to know about the guest, okay? We can say about the addressee, because this is very important. If you know about the guest in your event, you can prepare well, yeah? Who do you want to address, yeah? So this is like... You need to uh, to to see, yeah. If the addressee, king or queen, you can address like this: His Most Gracious Majesty, King or Queen, and the name, blah 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 blah. Yeah, His Majesty, King, Queen, blah 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 blah, with the name, yeah. And if that members of royal family, you can say something like this: His Royal Highness, yeah. His Royal Highness the Prince or Princess, yeah. If the President or Ambassador, Minister or Rector, you can say something like this, yeah. The Honorable of, for example, uh, Elizabeth, yeah. The President of 
uh, jomblo king for example ya yeah. uh, mungkin contoh aja gitu ya and then the renewable of blah 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 you can use this one ya yeah. to welcome who is your addressing ya yeah, or the guest oh and the second one and the next one is religious figures ya yeah, because like maybe like Erika told us that she was the MC in the religious events ya yeah. you can say something like this to welcome the teacher or maybe the the priest or ustad ya yeah. you can say like this ya yeah. your excellency yeah, my dear friend mother uh, dear father blah 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 your holiness i don't know maybe Erika what about in muslim in islam uh what actually you say to welcome uh like the religious figures Erika um, kalau kemarin sih kan karena masuk ke guru agama manggilnya ibu hmm. cuma kalau uh, kalau pengajian gitu hmm. biasanya kalau misalnya di TV TV kan kayak mama dede gitu <laughs> kalau oh, okay. perempuan biasanya uh, ustazah kalau yang itu yang kalau yang cowok ustad gitu. Ah, uh, ya yeah, you can you can mention that ya. Yeah. Yeah. But be careful, be careful ya. Yeah. Don't uh, don't uh, don't uh, ya yeah. you can say that if you have like ustad ya yeah, maybe another ustazah ya. Yeah. You have to know about that that terms ya yeah. because that's very sensitive ya. Yeah. Most of the like religious figures if we, for my experience ya. Yeah, I said something wrong with their name like oh seriously okay yeah something like they don't like it yeah they don't like it so we need to make sure this is right or not okay okay the last one so people in general maybe like us yeah you can say ladies and gentlemen dear friends dear brother and sister yeah this thing is yes yeah you can say something like that okay all right do you have any questions so, so far about this one guys Is that clear? Clear? Yes. No answer means that's clear. Can I go next? Yes. All right. Yes. Okay. The second one is about the structures and expression. Yeah. This is very important, guys, because if you want to write your script, yeah, before you uh, bring your, uh, maybe you can say, Uh, attend the event yeah because yeah, you are the MC yeah you need to be careful about the structures okay the expression and structures like this for the first one you start with the greeting to the audience you can say good morning ladies and gentlemen yeah good afternoon yeah for maybe uh, like Erika or Islam you can say assalamualaikum yeah and if that Uh, Christian you can say shalom and anything yeah regarding to the religion that you have yeah and then the second one yeah don't forget to address the audience you can say his majesty Sri Sultan for example the minister of uh, national education blah 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 ladies and gentlemen yeah dear brothers and sisters it depends of the we can say it depends on the event yeah informal semi formal or informal yeah don't say like hello dear brothers and sister in formal situation <laughs> who do you think you are yeah that's not polite yeah please avoid that one hi guys yeah better you don't say like that in the ceremony something like in a president's event yeah maybe like in the kingdom or something like that or even in our, in our school yeah you have to avoid that okay okay good morning guys yeah no like that okay then so after you address that please welcome yeah welcome the guests it's my greatest pleasure to welcome you to to what yeah to the event yeah what kind of event yeah it is particular pleasure to welcome you to blah 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 okay in maybe in our maybe if you have like birthday party we can say welcome to uh Anderson's birthday party yeah you can say like that okay can I go next guys do you have any question about this one no nope. all right no nope. okay next after you welcome the uh, the guests you can say you need to reading to read the agenda yeah 
before we start yeah the program of our event for today blah 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 you can read it okay before we run our today's activity blah 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 okay after you read that yeah this is the items in agenda yeah you can uh, say that in the agenda report from chairman of the committee welcoming address by uh, for example Fiona yeah speech by uh, Venetia yeah blah 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 yeah you can some, uh, say, say say like this yeah mentions the agenda that you uh, will do uh, in the event yeah after that after you uh, say that you can invite the speaker okay ladies and gentlemen to start our program let hear the report from the committee presented by blah 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 blah, blah. yeah yeah okay maybe you can say like this the next is a speech from yeah anderson yeah maybe you can say like that ladies and gentlemen please give a warm welcome to this person yeah but you need to be careful because like in indonesia we have the title yeah for example if they are like a professor you can say the professor and about the title yeah don't forget to mention about it or you can say bapa ibu yeah in indonesia or mr or miss yeah but actually in it depends on the event yeah informal semi or informal if in indonesia you need to say that yeah like bapa ibu yeah because if you don't you don't say that it means that you're not polite it depends on the culture too okay then all right then any questions okay no questions yeah all right next Mister, oh yeah who's that? Who's what that? about bachelor uh you bachelor mean degree a bachelor degree you mean uh, s1 yeah okay is what that, do you, what do you mean the title is that should we say the title <laughs> yes 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 for example like most of the teachers in here like a bachelor right yeah you need to say like for example a miss root spd yeah something like that yeah what if in english like should we no. say it no, in English no. Culture? no 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 you don't to say that because in indonesia spd is the title yeah but if you oh. say, like graduated from overseas maybe they can say bachelor of education yeah you, you cannot change because if you want to change the title they have to change to the government uh, education of government in indonesia for example like my my title yeah i have two titles spd and ma spd in bahasa and ma master of art ya kalau master of art nya di indonesia itu adalah uh, master uh, apa namanya mhum itu kalau di bahasa indonesia kan master of humanora gitu kalau di luar negeri ma gitu seperti itu so you don't need to translate it oke okay, indonesia oke okay. all right then so next thank you next for the token presentation you need to say like Thank you, Your Excellency. Blah 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 blah. blah. Yeah, you can say it like this. Yeah, we'd like to present a small token. Do you know what is a small token? Do what is token? By the way, anyone? What is token? Something related with electrical. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Nisha. Something that's related with electrical. Yes. Oh no 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 like that. No 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 no. You mean like you feel the electrical like using token? Yeah. <laughs> Like uh, yes. <laughs> no, 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 something like that. That's not wrong. <laughs> That's not wrong. No, but the, the, the context is not here, yeah. But <laughs> different, the, different. the context is not like in here, yeah. The token in the electric city. Oh, so, yeah. Okay. What is token by the way in Bahasa? Anyone? What is token? Uh, token and toke different, yeah. Don't you say okay, toke, yeah okay yeah okay okay from this example you can say the the you can see the sentence here thank you your excellency but before you you return to your seat okay apa ini apa itu token ayo anyone want to share give up token is like something that gives a uh, reward yeah you want to give like appreciation 
ya biasanya kan kalau ada uh, penghargaan atau apa kamu bisa kasih itu sebagai mari kita sambut ya kayak okay, I'm gonna give like the token of appreciation for your presence in this opening ceremony oke okay? something like that you say like uh, your excellency or your you say that you're grateful ya yeah, as the appreciations to the guests oke okay? So the last one is about closing. So in here closing, you can say like, well, ladies and gentlemen, we come to the end of the happening anime. Thank you very much for your blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you can say something like this. All right, any questions about this one, guys? So far so good? Can I move on? Guys, say something. Yes, Cindy said, okay, I just see. Cindy said a gift, yeah. Uh, I cannot see, by the way, guys, your text because I, I'm presenting now. So all of my screens are uh, full with PowerPoint. Okay, can I go next, everyone? Say yes, if yes. Okay, okay, if you don't, have, don't say something, I can go. All right, so for number three, yeah, uh, you can use grammar. Uh, Uh, if you want to write the script in your, uh, we can say, in your ceremony, okay, we can say as the master of ceremony. Yeah, what kind of grammar is that? You can use will and shall, yeah, as a feature, yeah. You can say that uh, you need to know that will and shall always followed by verb one, yeah. You can use shall or will with I and we, yeah. Uh, you can use also in spoken English the short terms. You can say I'll yeah, or will. Yeah. Uh, the negative of shall you can say sent of will will not become won. Yeah. Do not use shall with he, she, it, you, they. Yeah. You can use shall uh, for I and only we. Only I and we. Okay. All right, then. Any questions, guys, about the grammar? So far, so good? Yes? Yes. All right. Next. Oh, what's wrong with my PPT? Okay, for number four, we're going to the example. Okay, please, one of you read this one. I'm going to see. Maybe Cindy. Cindy, can you read this one, Cindy? Cindy. Are you there, Cindy? Hello, Cindy, Cindy. Hello, sir. Can you read this example? Kirain make ini. Um, oh, okay. All right. Semua. Yes. So, so you pretend, Cindy, you, you, you don't have the preparation, yeah? I'm gonna like see the comparison. Yeah, okay, Cindy? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. A warm welcome to you all to this cocktail reception organized by the Office of the Communications Authority. A quick word about tonight's program. We shall begin with a talk by our honorable speaker, Professor Richard Wish from London. This will be followed by a short question and answer session when you will be free to exchange ideas with the professor. At about eight o'clock tonight, we, when the talk concludes, the cocktail reception will resume and we have arranged more refreshments outside for you. Since the professor is catching his flight home tonight, much as we would like to have him here longer with us, we'd have to make sure that he can be allowed to leave the venue by 8.30. As you may be well aware, this reception has been organized to mark the closing of an in-house seminar organized by Opta and the application of competition law and policy to the Hong Kong telecommunication sector. This five-day in-house seminar actually started last week, and today is the last day. We are very honored to have invited Professor Richard Wish of King's College, London, to conduct the seminar. Now, in just about a few minutes, Professor Wish is going to share with you his insights and expert knowledge surrounding competition issues. But before he starts, may we invite Mr. Anthony Wong, Director General of Telecommunications, to say a few words to you, to us, Mr. Wong, please, please, ah, uh, that, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the closing one. Huh? The last part. 
Ladies and gentlemen, those were really fascinating talk. Thank you to all speakers and distinguished guests for your participation. Good evening. All right. Wow, that's nice. Even though you don't have preparation, but that's so good, though. How's your feeling? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> When, when you read that one, you imagine that you are uh, attending in the one of the event? Yeah, but because I'm reading all the text, mm -hmm. I'm reading off a text, I didn't really know what the intonation would be. All right. And I haven't read read it before, so okay. out of, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's going to be happen, right? Because you don't prepare well, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so Nacho, what, what do you think about Cindy? Uh, uh, Cindy's... Uh, Nacho, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay, Nacho, what do you think about Cindy that she has done? Bagus, sir. Bagus. Jangan cuma bagus, dong. Say something. Pronunciation-nya udah bagus, sir. Right. I like that. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, thank you so much, yeah. Thank you so much, Cindy. Cindy, kenapa enggak dari kemarin-kemarin kamu jadi presenter? Ya? All right then. Okay. So we can take a look from this one, guys. This is gonna be like, uh, where's my pen? Yeah, this is gonna be like, what is this? What part is this? Is that greeting? Yes, that's greeting, right? Okay. What about this, ladies and gentlemen? Blah 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 blah. What is it called? What is that? We can say this is going to be like the introduction. Yeah, the introduction. And for this one, until here, this is going to be the body. Yeah, in the body, you can introduce about the speaker, okay, about the agenda, okay, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, and this is going to be the ending or closing. Okay? All right. All right then. Any question about this one, guys? So far, so good. Oh, by the way, we have already. Uh, okay. If you wanna stay, just stay here, yeah, guys. If you wanna stay, if not, you can go out from our meeting. Yeah, I'm gonna like uh, give you this video for you. Okay. If you don't have, okay, let's go next. Okay. So if you wanna save to be a MC, please don't. Yeah. Jangan lakukan ini. Please don't do this. For example, number one, please don't feel you need to entertain. Yeah, come on, I need to entertain you myself. Yeah, no, yeah, you are a leader. We can say you are the instructor in the event. Yeah, don't feel that you are lonely. <laughs> okay, okay. The second one, please don't talk about yourself. Nah, nanti jadi curhat. All right, by the way, guys, I'm the people like this. I'm the person really blah, 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 blah. not like that. Yeah, please don't talk about yourself. Yeah, because you have an event. Yeah, you need to uh, give the directions about the event. Okay, the third one, please don't tell the jokes of uh, at the time. Yeah, karena orang gak butuh itu. Yeah, apalagi eh, like in the formal uh, event. Yeah, it's very ridiculous. Okay. The last one, please don't wing it. Do you know what is wing it? Okay, there are two minutes in here wing it. First, uh, please don't like uh, talk uh, very fast. Yeah, blah, 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 no. Yeah, and then the second one, please don't make something like weird movement, uh, something like this. Okay, no. Okay, please avoid that. All right. Next, a good MC must have, you can say, yeah, fancy in speaking. Yeah, you need to be polite using your words, your language. Uh, okay, be careful about your voice. And also, you need to control the audience because you are the the leader in the event. Yeah, you need to uh, improve your communicating ideas and, speak, and feeling. Yeah, and also you need to know about what kind of event. All right. And also you can say about the personality yeah because if the mc a good if he or she has good personality that's a point for you guys yeah people will like you oh i like the mc yeah like choki shihotang mungkin ya dulu saya sangat inspired by choki shihotang and also from the 
uh, from the lady uh, Mary Riana, yeah, Mary Riana, and for the uh, from the overseas Oprah Winfrey, if you know Oprah Win Winfrey, and Jimmy, 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 yeah, and, and Jimmy, uh, there. Jimmy Fallon. Yeah, Jimmy Fallon. Yeah, I like them. Yeah. All right, that's all for today. Oh, I have one more. Yeah. And for the language aspect, you need to know about your good voice, yeah, about the stress, yeah. Stress itu artinya penekanan, intonations, your pronunciation, your volume, yeah. Don't make like saying, ah, something like uh -huh. louder, louder, no. Okay, you need also pay attention to your speed, yeah, to the rate, yeah. And also like uh, Erika's experience, she's afraid like say something because, yeah, making mistake. Yeah, that's why you need to enrich your vocabulary so that you don't do the mistake. Yeah, and also the, the, the last one is grammar. Actually, this is like uh, the optional actually. Yeah, because it depends on the uh, event. Yeah, if you are in the formal event, yeah, you need to be careful with your grammar. But informal, I think that's not. I think it's okay. Yeah, all right. Okay, so I don't need to do this one because we don't have time, I think, yeah, because, uh, yeah, maybe I'm gonna do this next week. Okay, this is gonna be the summary of our subject for today. So, because you know that MCR rules, uh, Master of Ceremony rules, you need to know that you are the stage setter, yeah, creating the inviting environment, be really interested the speaker, yeah. Please, uh, if you have the celebrity in your event, you need to uh, say their name several times, yeah? And also, when you make an introduction, speak to the audience, not to the person being introduced, okay? Okay, do not overpraise, yeah? Welcome to the speaker with the handshake or smile. Don't over smile, yeah? That's make me like, people will think that you are crazy. <laughs> okay, and also, give the applause okay all right then so for the script uh, maybe i can gonna give this video for you guys so that you can pay attention more about how to be a good mc all right so that's all for today guys thank you so much for your attention now i give you question and answer